According to ESPN, Ilya Toporia is one of the best younger fighters and prospects. Ilya was born and raised in Georgia, but his family moved to Spain as a teenager, where he started his professional career. Georgian people are famous for their huge wrestling culture. And just like other Georgian kids, Ilya and his brother were freestyle wrestlers. When Ilya went to Spain, he wanted to continue training in wrestling. But there were few martial arts gyms in Alicante, and the only gym they found was the BJJ gym they use for training even today. Ilya already had excellent wrestling skills, and he added even greater BJJ skills to his arsenal. He finished most of his battles in the first round, and even before UFC, he was famous because of his exceptional BJJ skills. He had only one KO victory and seven submission victories using different techniques. After earning two significant victories in one of the best promotion, Brave FC, he had his chance in the UFC. But this chance was against a very experienced and talented fighter on short notice. His UFC debut was scheduled against Yusef Zalal on 10 days short notice. The fight was scheduled for October 2020, and Yusef already had three victories in a row in the following year in the UFC. Ilya was a massive underdog since all of the circumstances were in Zalal's favor. However, Ilya went inside the cage, faced Zalal, and earned the first ever unanimous decision victory in his professional MMA career. After a fantastic debut against that great talent, his next battle was scheduled against another experienced fighter, Damon Jackson, who had previously shared the octagon with another Georgian UFC fighter, Levon Makashvili, and ended the fight as a draw. While everyone considered Ilya a BJJ fighter, Ilya started showing his incredible boxing skills in the UFC. He earned an impressive, brutal KO victory against Damon Jackson by landing a devastating uppercut, massive liver shot, and right overhand combination. In the second battle, UFC scheduled his fight against one of the best BJJ fighters in the UFC and the BJJ world, Ryan Hall, and he earned his second brutal KO victory in the UFC in the first round. Round. After that, Ilya was scheduled to battle Jai Herbert, an English fighter in the lightweight division. It was his debut in the 155-pound division, and he almost lost the fight in the first round when Jai landed a brutal left high kick, but Ilya showed the heart of a lion. In the second round, he finished the fight with the same combination of the liver shot and right overhand. He knocked Jai Herbert out cold in front of his people. His latest fight was against the undefeated featherweight prospect Bryce Mitchell, who was very close to the title shot. Bryce was famous for his excellent submission skills. He also earned the second twister submission in the history of the UFC. Ilya Toporia faced this undefeated featherweight monster and made beating him look easy. The first round destroyed him in the standing, and in the second round, after serving Bryce the brutal knockdown, he earned the first ever submission victory in the UFC against one of the best grapplers of the UFC. What is next for this great warrior? He is 25 years old with great wrestling, BJJ, and boxing skills. He still has plenty of time to work on his weaknesses and make his deadly weapons even more dangerous. As a next opponent, he called out T-City, Brian Ortega. Still, he might hold another fight in the lightweight division since he has some weight-cutting problem. In the lightweight division, only one fight makes sense for the moment, and that's against rival British star Paddy Pimblett. They exchanged words on social media, and Ilya even exchanged punches with him when they first met in the building. During the press conference for the latest UFC card, they talked a lot about each other. So it would be beneficial for the UFC to promote the bad blood between these two and hold a great rivalry. Otherwise, in the featherweight division, he has proven that he deserves a top five fighter. And his fighting against one of the best BJJ fighters of the division, T-City Ortega, makes lots of sense. On the other hand, Ortega owes an explanation after suffering defeat in title fights and suffering injuries in the last battle with Yair Rodriguez. So what's next for Ilya? Bad blood rivalry with Patty or title eliminator battle with T-City?